Hey guys. Let me just put my earrings on. So yeah, today we're gonna um, go through my little makeup bag. I change it out like once a week with new products. Hold on, let me get this. We got Cervantes in the back right there. But anyways, yeah, today we're gonna go through this bag. It's a little bag I got on Amazon. I'll link it down below. Anyways, I'm gonna show you all what I have in here. I do keep a lot of makeup products. I kind of interchange all my makeup once a week you know like for my stash and everything and i put it in this bag yeah i got a lot of stuff in here let me show you what's in this bag isn't this cute it's like a blush pink real pretty it's a pleather fake leather it's by the brand shell bags okay what is in this makeup bag let's find out so these are all the products i've been using for the past week i do have a weekly makeup bag hold on um this is a cool bag right so it opens up like this and you can fit tons of stuff oh my gosh and you can fit tons of stuff in here look at that and I love how it has this right here so it keeps everything in place, you know. And then along with this bag, you have little pockets, which I love as well. It keeps things upright. Well, everything here is kept upright. We have these that lock everything in place. Okay, let's go through everything. Okay, hold on. Okay, I'm trying to get... You guys, I have a lot of makeup. Okay foundations i guess my two foundations i don't know what happened to the lid on this one three foundations these are the ones i've been currently using so i have the revolution conceal and define this is in the shade f4 now this is a wonderful foundation it makes your uh skin look powdery but in a good way I, I don't know maybe that's contradicting it blurs your skin out let's put it that way um and it evens out your skin tone really nice it is a doe foot applicator and i like these they're easy to use they're very uh convenient you know what i mean especially when you're on the go and then i have this focalore full coverage matte foundation you guys this is nice too as you can see i've been using it quite a bit yeah this uh this foundation is really really good i would say that these two are pretty even like i, I give them both an eight out of ten you know okay on the other hand uh this one i don't know i don't i don't feel that this catrice is hydrating yeah, I don't feel that this one's hydrating like it says. It says it has hyaluronic acid. Mm, and I got mine in the shade Cool Nude. Yeah, this one I would rate a 4 out of 10. So I didn't really care for that one too much. Okay. Uh, we should have started out with primers. But here, let me get all the face products out. You guys, at one point, I did have all of these neatly in there and stuff like that. But when you're constantly using makeup, you tend to get a little sloppy. But anyways. Okay. So I've also been using these L'Oreal Lumi Glotions. These are so beautiful. I don't know. I even think these ones are better than the MAC ones. Let me see. Let me show you. then this one these i think are better i don't know um but anyways i do have uh two of them i think they have a third one a deeper one i have mine in the shades 902 and 901 
So there's those. Okay, and then I also took out my Rare Beauty by Selena Gomez. Now this one is really nice. It's very lightweight on the skin for sure. And it's, uh, yeah, it's just good. Okay, and then the two found uh, concealers. I don't think I have any more concealers. Hold on. Oh my gosh, I forgot this one. Okay. Yeah, I forgot this one. If you want a full coverage foundation that spreads very easily, this is so, so nice. A little goes a long way. And look at the name. It's Double Wear Maximum Cover Camouflage Makeup for face and body. Yes, that's exactly what it is. It just makes your skin look so, so nice. Okay, anyways, moving on. Okay, the two concealers I did take out were this Tarte one and ABH one. This one, this one I have in the shade six Magic Touch. And then this Tarte, I love this one. This one I have in the shade Light Medium Honey. So yeah, been using these two, loving them. So, so good. Okay. Give us, give us. Um, I have this Alterna Caviar Anti-Aging Working Hairspray. This is my favorite, favorite hairspray of all time. This is so good. It locks in, how do you say it? It, it reduces the frizz. It makes your hair look fuller. I don't know. It is just a great formula. If y'all buy this, um, y'all would love it too. So check it out. Check it out. Okay. Okay. Let me, oh look, surprise, surprise. I have another, um, face primer. This is the Soap and Glory Hocus Focus softening illuminator visual flaw um this is so good it leaves the skin not very illuminated but illuminated <laughs> is it illuminated or illuminated okay mascaras mascara oh you know what um since i showed you that hairspray i have been loving loving this this Garnier Fructis Sleek and Shine Frizz Tamer. It's just like a mascara wand. So yeah, it's a, a frizz tamer. Here's the packaging in case y'all want to go look for it. So here's how it would look. But yes, so, so good. I love it. This is the first type of frizz tamer that I've seen in a mascara wand. Yeah, I haven't really seen any like this. Definitely recommend though, you can get it at your drugstore. Okay, mascaras, I have, I think, yeah, I only have two. The two mascaras are gonna be this uh, Urban Decay Wild Lash Mascara. This is a nice one. Let me show you how the wand is. There's the wand. I like how it's flat like that because it hugs your lashes when you, you know. There, it makes your lashes real wispy and long. I like that. Um, and then this one, Superhero Waterproof. I prefer the waterproof over the regular one. I think it makes the lashes look longer and, and stuff than the regular one. Um, and then here's the wand on this one. Just a classic wand. Okay. Surprise, surprise. Man. Okay, I just reached up here because I forgot about that portion. Um, so I have this matte, hold on. I have this Amoris matte concealer, my BFF matte concealer. It is full coverage, but it's, I don't know. I think it's a little dry. And then I have this Too Faced Born This Way. Mine is in the shade Warm Neutral. I use it as an under eye corrector, kind of. 
I just barely dot any of this and then I mix it with like a um, regular concealer, you know? But anyway, so that's why I have these two there. I also have the e.l.f. one. This is an actual color corrector. So it's a salmon color. See? It's very cooling on the skin too. Okay, um, we're almost done, almost done. All right, I have a scrunchie and I have this rollerball fragrance body oil. I got this on Amazon. I have a lot of them. Let me show you. This one's in birthday cake, but let me show you the other ones I have too. I think it's a small owned company, but yeah, I have a lot. This one I just got in yesterday, the Very Pink Chiffon Ralph Lauren Romance. And then I have this Victoria's Secret Bombshell, Cotton Candy, and then the one I've been using is Birthday Cake. Very good products. Yeah, I think it's a small owned business. So I took out these uh, eye pencils, the stick eye pencils. Yeah, I've, I've been loving this underneath my eyeshadow to make my eyeshadows pop. So I have two of the e.l.f. Now these I think are limited edition or were limited edition. The mint melt and the cookies and uh, dreams. Um, really pretty. And then this one came in like a five pack on Amazon. And these ones are really nice too, as you can see. But yeah, I put these underneath here. Let me show you this one too. You see how it's very vibrant? Like the color is there, you know what I mean? Yeah, I like to put these underneath my shadow just so the eyeshadow can pop. All right, I, I have a lot of brow products that I didn't really know I had in there. <laughs> I just like to interchange my brow products. I have a lot. <laughs> so I have this e.l.f. one right here. I love this. This is the Instant Lift Brow Pencil. So, so good. Yeah, it's not a really thin a uh, fine point brow pencil, but it, it makes your brows look so pretty. It makes it look full. You can apply a lot of pressure, make it darker. You can put less pressure and it'll be lighter. And then I have this Rimmel. This is my all time favorite brow pencil. It's a sharpenable one. Man, this is so good. Yeah, you can make really nice strokes. It's not, uh, how do you say it? It's not um, waxy at all. Yeah, it's not waxy at all. It's more of a drier consistency. And that's what makes it a bomb product. All right, so I also have this IBY Beauty brow pencil that I got at Ross. And then I have this collab here. Collab Beauty that I got from Sally's Beauty Supply. So there's those. Okay, this one do not get. Yeah, this one do not get. I'm just trying to use it up, but it's so waxy. It uh, it's the formula is too soft. Look, like it comes off. I don't know. It breaks apart real easily because it's so soft, you know. Okay, last but not least. What do we have here? We have lip liners. This one is from Give. This one's in the shade 01C2. This one's in Harbor Boulevard. <laughs> and it's from Gwen Stefani's brand, uh, Give Beauty. And this one's in the shade Harbor Boulevard. Real pretty. Um, another one. This one, Elf. This one I picked up on Amazon. You guys, this is so nice. I totally recommend this. 
It's a great neutral lip liner and it goes with any lip color, lipstick, lip gloss, anything. It makes your lips look really pouty. Definitely recommend that. What's the... There's no shade name to this. So it's the Cream Glide Lip Liner. There's no shade to it though. Okay, and then another one I have is this Bare Minerals. Another one I have is this Bare, Miner Bare Minerals. This one's in the shade. I love these, by the way. Um, if you want a good lip liner, this is like one of the best. Um, this one is the Gen Nude in Borderline. So this is the Under Over Lip Liner. And almost done. So the three eyeliners I've been using is this Norvina. This one I picked up at Marshalls. This is the Chrome Sticks. You know what? I don't even know if, if, um, if it's from ABH. Oh, it is. But anyways, it's called Norvina. Yeah. Really nice. It's really black. But yeah, I picked that one up. I think it was $7.99 at Marshalls. And then, oh, you guys, if y'all have not, and I keep recommending this over and over. If y'all haven't tried the crop liner, the black or the brown, in this case, this one's the brown. I totally recommend it. It's very, like, look at that. It's so dark. It's basically waterproof. I just love, love that one. Um, and you can pick those up at TJ Maxx or Marshalls. Last but not least is this LA Colors. Uh, this one I picked up at the Dollar Tree. So this is the Shimmer Auto Eyeliner. Um, and it's really good for being from the Dollar Tree, you know. Look at that. Isn't that nice? Yeah, I've been really into um, browns more. I don't know. All right, you guys. That is it. That's everything in this bag. Again, I'm going to link this down below. So that is it. I just wanted to show you what's in my makeup bag that I'm currently using for the week. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I plan on now refilling it with new stuff from my stash this is kind of like how i try or keep going through my collection and seeing how products work that way i can give you some like insight and opinions on the products because i do love to wear makeup it's just so fun makeup is a hobby it's like a passion right I think so. I, th I think it is. But anyways, you guys, that's going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for being here. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you on the next one, you guys. Bye.